Bra fucking vo, Marine Corps. Bra fucking vo. You finally managed to thoroughly embarrass yourselves in just the most loserish way possible. Just pulled a fucking loser move. There are police who are snickering right now. <laughs> There's a gunny yelling at him right now to go start their little fucking PT sesh or whatever. And while gunny's yelling at them, they're fucking snickering because the Corps' infantry officers just lowered their fucking standard. Y you can't help but fucking snicker because it's, it's like pathetic gossip that you don't want to believe. Like, you want to think it's just a rumor. Because it's that pathetic. <laughs> they lowered the standard of the frontline fighters. Just think, the Marine Corps lowered the standard. The Marine Corps that believes it's better than everyone else because they've got the highest standards. We're so proud of our fucking standards. Marine Corps pogues think they're better than Army pogues because they've got a higher uniform standard. Okay? We love our fucking standards. That's what, that's what enables us to, to get Devil Dog tattooed on our fucking arm. Semper Fidelis. And yet, despite our infatuation and obsession with our high standard, Despite that, we are still lowering the standard, bit by bit. But not just, not just a uniform regulation. Oh, I'm sure those are going to get more strict now. The whole Marine Corps fucking leadership is going to get this little fucking insecurity complex now and start hammering down all these high standards of uh, fucking, uh, what is it, a, a Marine Corps test and shit? What the fuck are they? MCIs. Of MCIs and uniform. And, not, and, and Marine Corps knowledge. Raw. Oh. <laughs> They're going to start over-enforcing all that shit. While the infantry officer standard comes down. Bop, 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 bop. Bit by bit. Chip by chip. Just chipping away at that fucking standard. What do we need this for? Let me round this out a little bit. Get my sandpaper and... Sand these edges down. Can't be too rough. Chipping away the fucking standard. We're gonna lower it for the front line officers, though. That's the that's that is the true beauty here. It's that's the truth. Is is that you know? It's one thing you decrease the Marine Corps standard or some other weird standard, but to focus on infantry officer to focus on that and decrease just that standard. What statement are you making by lowering the standard of the front line warfighters? What you're saying is that I'm not that interested in putting the best of the best on the battlefield, having the best leadership possible. I'm not, in I'm not so much interested in that. I'd rather... See if we can get a whole bunch more people to come in and, you know, kind of mix up the ranks, you know, get better variety, you know, because we need variety on the front line. So, you know, I'd like to have some, uh, women. <laughs> I'd like to have some, some, it'd be nice to have some, some women out there on the front line. You know, it's... You know, and it's really tough for them to do it because of all the, you know, physical things that, uh, you know, they're born with. And so, um, let's just make it a little easier, you know? Like, what do you think, guys? Just like a little bit? Jim, come on. Three hikes? You cool with that? Steve, three hikes. That's all I'm asking. Just evaluate three. That's it. You good with it? Okay, good. John, three hikes, brother. Three hikes. That's it. That's all we need. What the fuck do you need to evaluate six hikes for? That's, that's how that went, I think, at, at the table when they tossed this idea out there. Right? 
And here's the fucking worst part of this whole fucking thing. You ready for this shit? Hate to fucking burst all the bubbles for all the grunt officers out there, but uh, infantry officer course is not that fucking hard. It's not. <laughs> it's a great school, very challenging physically and mentally, but it's not that fucking hard, okay? It's not. You're given fucking three meals a day. You're given a place to sleep. IOC is fucking legit, right? You know, like, you do a bunch of fucking cool ass shit. And maybe I'm, you know, fucking white privilege or whatever, but you just gotta not be a dumbass and not be a fucking weak bitch. That's it. You don't need superior leadership skills to get through IOC. You need to study warfighting and study the orders process and just do what you're fucking studying. Just execute it as the fucking book says to execute it. And you'll make it through IOC. So it's not that hard, but we're still going to make it a little easier for the officer. Just a little. Just because we want, a little, we want, we want some, some fresh blood. We need some, we need, we need a couple more officers coming through this course. So we gotta make it just a little easier. Not that much, just a little easier. First, we're just, we don't need this, the, the, the CET isn't mandatory, okay? We don't need the time requirement there, we're, we're, we're fine. And then now, now what are they saying? They're saying, you know what? Six of the nine hikes being evaluated, that's just too many. You know, because when you get to combat, you're not going to evaluate six out of the nine hikes you're on, you know? So it's like, why do you got to evaluate six in training, you know? In combat, like, it's probably only like one or two out of nine get evaluated, you know what I mean? So like, why don't we just evaluate three, right? <laughs> like, it's fucking, it's just like, common sense like you don't need six to be evaluated you just need like probably like three and then like you know, you know that dude's good right like if you can get if you can pass like just bare minimum pass uh, like three hikes like he should be good for all of them in combat I think yeah, for sure. Just three. Three evaluated. That's all you need, man. Because you put that guy out in combat and you just know he's going to do good things, you know? You just don't need the, the full six, you know? Definitely don't need the nine. I mean, why would you want to evaluate every hike an officer's on? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like, when he gets to the fleet... If he, you know, is having trouble, you know, on his seventh hike, uh, well, he could just fall out and, you know, the, fucking just hop in the truck, help bring out fruit and water and shit to the Marines. And the Marines are fucking, they'll be good with it, you know? They'll be totally good, man. They'll just look at him and be like, oh, hell yeah, man. LT's just fucking feeling a little tired right now. He's just going to take a quick little break. It's no big, for sure. I'm too tired, but I, I want to put my hand through a wall. I'm thinking this wall looks really nice, but there might be a stud there. And I don't, I don't want to risk it. Can't, can't bang into a stud, I'll break my hand and can't type, can't type up my apology letter to the Marine Corps for this video. <laughs> Gonna have to dictate it, have pay someone to type it for me. I'm not fucking apologizing. I'm sorry I haven't been more vocal about this shit before. That's what I'm sorry about. I know enough people follow my shit, I could make a fucking rustle if I wanted. I don't want to. I don't even want to do this. 
you left me no choice. You decreased the standard for IOC. You cannot let weak fucking bitches into the fucking grunts. For God's sake. Sorry to say, there is a plethora of weak bitches in the enlisted ranks. And they're being dragged by the strong, by the team leaders and the squad leaders. Sergeants dragging these fucking weak ass bitches through training and workups and deployments. Imagine if that happens to officers. Imagine. Can you imagine? Officers falling out on humps. It's, here, here's, here's why I still respect the grunts, even after all this fucking bullshit. If an officer falls out, he is very likely to be fired. If you can't stay up with the company commander and the rest of the fucking company, you are no good in the fight. You are a burden. So you're fired. Physically fit is like a small part of it. It's just heart. Like, don't be a weak bitch. All right, that's a lie. You, yeah, you gotta be kind of strong. But just don't be a weak bitch. That's it. And now, we're lowering the standard so that maybe, just maybe, we might get some weak bitches leading the front lines of the grunts. Bravo, Marine Corps. Bravo. Did you ever stop and think about what the enlisted are thinking of every fucking MOS in the Marine Corps? They're all going like this. Oh, shit. Fucking grunts are getting weak, dude. All the fucking pokes in the motor pool are going, damn, you could be a grunt now, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> no offense. I love, I love my pokes. Love everybody. Just picking on you. But for real, that's what they're saying. Okay? And you know it. You know it. If you don't know that, you are completely fucking disconnected from reality. If you don't know that. Seriously question your judgment and your leadership if you don't know that's what the fucking enlisted are saying right now. And, and, and that's the whole, remember, that, that, that's all Marine Corps, that's all, all, all jobs, all MOSs. Think about what the enlisted grunts are thinking. The, every lieutenant that comes through now, they're just like, yeah, that's what they ever did. I guess he's getting weak. Let's see if this guy's gonna fucking outpt us. And then now, the lieutenants are going to get wind of that. And they're going to have this little, this insecurity, this chip on the shoulder, this inferior, inferiority complex, because they know what the enlisted are thinking. These lieutenants coming in know what they're going to be thinking. So these lieutenants are going to come in extra hard. PT the dog piss at him. I'll show him I'm not weak. I'll show him I passed the CET. That's what they're going to be like. They're going to come in... Too much. They're gonna fuck shit up. They're gonna fucking lose the interest of the platoon. But the enlisted are still snickering. I've been high this whole time, by the way. I don't even really remember it. To be honest with you, I kind of blacked out. So, uh, how'd I do? <laughs> it's gonna be really interesting to see if that came out funny. Which was my intent. Oh, that chastised the Marine Corps because uh, I'm so important. Nobody fucking cares. But this was fun to watch, right? That's all this is. We're just fucking around. Because nobody's like dying over it or anything. <laughs> no one's going to die or lose their limbs because we bring the standards down a little bit. So, why am I making a stink of it? You know what I mean? I feel like an idiot now.